Well, hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650 Eve here and welcome to season six of the new bike build series. This season, we're using a 2019 Kawasaki Ninja H2 and in case you forgot, we're also using a 2019 Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory with the help of our channel sponsor, The Magnificent Miami Manny from Moto Million. We're transforming both of those bikes to something beautiful and amazing. And at the end of the build series, one lucky person gets to choose one of those bikes to keep for him or herself. Information on how you might be that lucky individual is in the description. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, tap that bell and you'll get notified when new content is uploaded. But here it is, our 2019 Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory has been adorned with lots and lots of parts from Manny at Moto Million and the bike looks amazing, performs great too. We got to ride this bike quite a bit last year and uh, it definitely screams for Smackdowns and it's great on the track too. We see the Louis Moto seat cover has already been installed on the motorcycle and it's just absolutely beautiful. This bike has Rotobox Boost matte carbon fiber wheels, which I think look absolutely brilliant. Next to it, we have our 2019 Kawasaki Ninja H2. Still have a lot of parts to apply to this motorcycle, including Rotobox Boost gloss carbon fiber wheels with green accents to bring out the frame and that beautiful Roaring Toys six inch over extended swing arm, which really makes this beast more controllable, faster for smackdowns and uh, doesn't really affect its performance in cornering that much either. But uh, Zach's gonna install some more parts onto this bike, but today we're gonna focus on the Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory and Manny from Old Million has sent us more parts to install. So without further delay, let's go inside and see what Zach's up to. It's a beautiful sunny day, Mr. Zach. Hey, hey, what's going on, Eve? What's up, buddy? Back for a new bike build video, I take it? Yes, we are, sir. Awesome. <laughs> cool, we need some entertainment. Um, yeah, so just checking out the parts that we're gonna install today. Um, we brought the Aprilia back, we haven't seen it for a while, so yes. pumped for that. Uh, it looks like we got some frame sliders made by Light Tech. Ooh. So we'll uh, go outside, check them out in the sunlight, check out the Aprilia again, and then uh, get it inside. We'll get these installed and uh, go for a little ride. Okay. Cool, it's pretty man. nice out today, actually. It is. Finally, right? Yeah. It's been raining a lot. It's been chilly. Yeah, it's been grumpy. So now we get to see these bikes in the sun. I was just marveling at them. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. We haven't even had sun since we put this H2 together, really. We have not. So you got to see it in Miami. That looks sweet. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, the swing arm and the frame. That is really cool. Came together really nice. It is nicely. coming along. Mm -hmm. Got the nice comfortable seat. Awesome. And yeah, the Aprilia. We actually we put a lot of parts on this and it had a lot of work done to it last season. Yes. If you don't remember, if you wanted something to watch, go back, check out some of those videos. We had help from some different people. Uh, we had some problems with the exhaust flap motor. Yes. Oh my gosh, we had check engine lights flashing everywhere. Yep. I was putting it in some kind of learn mode. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> Crazy Aprilia learning curve stuff. But you got it fixed. Well, we got it fixed yeah. and it, it's running sweet. It has light tech rear sets on it, so these are gonna match up real nice. Oh yeah. And go with our subtle matte theme with red. Yes. Not going too crazy on this, keeping it pretty much just matte red. Yes. And uh, this bike's really neat. It's really fun to ride. Um, it started off super tame and was not fun to ride. Yes. It was very lame and almost boring even. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the after ECU the exhaust, flash. yeah, and the first ECU flash, it got better. And then uh, we got a second version of the Flash, and that really woke it up. From it our good a, friends at Open Flash. It's an absolute blast to ride now. Yes. Yeah, full titanium, Akrapovich system on it. Yep. Exhaust servo delete. I don't think we did Samco hoses on this. No, we didn't. Well, maybe we should, hey? Yeah, maybe we should. Red hoses? Yeah. We had a part, of, oh, we put a Sprint air filter in it. We did the Sprint air filter on this and the BMW at the same time. Yep. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. Let's push it in. We'll okay. Get to work. All right. I'll hold oh, that for Oh, it's got the you. nice gas cap on it. Mm-hmm. Nice TWM levers. Everywhere you look, there's something different. Yep. And the fact that it's been tucked away all winter, and now we're, we're refreshing ourselves with it. Yeah, it's been a little time at rehab, so maybe it learned how to keep itself clean. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Did get the turn signals uh, blacked out with yeah. some 
awesome tin on it so that they don't stick out as much yet. You can still see them usually. Hopefully I'm not lying. Yep. Yeah, you can still see them clearly. Yep, big and so bright. That's, that's pretty cool. That's a nice addition. Yeah, it is. Ross from Rehab Detailing did that. Yeah. It's looking pretty simple. Looks like we have some spacers, some bolts, some frame sliders. One sheet of instructions here in Italian, of course. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, uh, you do that. Uh, okay, so Google, tra see. Google Translate. Let's see here. I'm guessing. Spacers are the same size. The frame sliders are the same size, so we just gotta get them on the right side. Guarantee I can screw that up. It's a 50-50 shot, right? Yeah, 50-50 shot. So this looks like it fits right in here, huh? Yeah, it does. Kind of like that. And yeah. then is our frame slider going that way? Probably. Or would it be going the other way? No, that's no good. No. That's for sure. Oh, because they do have a little cutout, so. I guess that matches. I don't know. Or, oh, oh there, that's where, even it that's where it goes. Yeah. Look at that, it fills in this yep. little spot. Yep. Slick. All right, let's get it up in the air and get this installed. All right, so we're actually gonna pull one of the engine mounting bolts out of this. One of the cool features of the Aprilia from the factory is if you look, there's these little plates and this is a rectangle opening. This, this piece of metal in behind here is actually offset. So that if we take this out, and I think we'll see it on the front one, you could flip it over and you can move the engine up in the frame, which what that's oh, gonna wow. do is gonna change the center of gravity and it's gonna drastically change the way that the bike handles on a racetrack. Wow. Again, I think it'd be tough for you to feel it, like unless you have the same loop on the street all the time. Sure. Probably wouldn't feel it, but when you're on a track and you can watch your lap times and you're looking for tenths of a second, that might make a difference. And that's just wow. something that's cool from the factory. Everything on this is adjustable. The swing arm you can flip, you can flip the engine and you can change your steering head uh, angle your rake and trail actually too. That's amazing. Why remove that side fairing if you don't have to? Yeah, I remember that belly pan not fitting the best either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we'll just pull this one bolt out. Give us a little bit more room. Took a lot of finesse to get that belly pan on. And I remember. I don't think it has a lot of miles on it since then, so it no. hasn't heated up and reshaped itself yet. All the fasteners we left alone on this bike because they're really neat. Uh, yeah, they have Aprilia really racing on them. Yeah. So it didn't go too pro tie crazy. This Catch. thing wouldn't zoom in in time. Let's see oh, if okay. it will now. Now hold that Zach for yep. us. And I'm gonna try Let's to see all the fasteners say Aprilia racing on the them. Manual zoom, zoom in. It's still thinking about it. It's tracking it. Should I hold it, it back a little bit? It. Yeah. Maybe we're too close. Yep. There we go. <laughs> all, right. all right. Teamwork. Yep. Yep. You know this really is an underrated motor. It always has been, Zach. Uh, an underrated, underrated motorcycle. I think it's partially because the styling hasn't changed very much over the years. Um, I think that when they come out with an all new RSV4, um, and it's a styling similar to the RS660, people are gonna go crazy over the bike. Yeah, I, I mean, for what it is though, it feels really narrow. You sit in a great position. Um, I didn't remember your older RSV4 very much because mm -hmm. you only had it for a short period of time. Yes. I don't even know if that got a full exhaust on. I think it only had an Austin Racing slip on, slip on yep, right? It did. Um, so it didn't have much to compare it to, but like I said, I would have compared it to like a CBR 1000, mm -hmm. like a 2017 or 18 uh, CBR 1000 when it was stock and not flashed. And yeah. Now it's definitely, it was right there with the BMW. Absolutely. No problem. Yeah. Might, maybe on top end it was down a little bit, but acceleration wise, it was right there. Yeah. And dyno-wise, it was right there too, right? Yeah, it produced the most power on the dyno, actually. Yeah. This one made 206 horsepower. Yeah, and had the uh, same, same amount of torque as the BMW, though, which was kind of odd. Yeah. So now, we're going to put our new insert in there, and wow, that's going to fill that gap in. Yep. But we might be stuck taking the fairing off to tighten this guy up, because there's no way to sneak in around it. Yeah. Mm. All right, so that wasn't too painful. Got the side fairing off. Handful of clips, couple fasteners. Now we can see to tighten up here. Yes. Oh, so that's too short. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go with the long one. There we go. <laughs> All right. They made it simple for Perfect. us. They made it simple. I like it when that happens. Self-explanatory. Blue Loctite. Little blue Loctite. Don't want that going anywhere. See a lot of vibration from the engine in that particular position. Mm. 
And then of course you want to do this one at a time and torque it because it is the engine mount bolt. And whenever you torque, whenever the engine's hanging in aluminum frame, you want it to be torqued because they actually take that into account for how stiff the frame is. Oh, wow. So we are at 15 meters. All righty. Nice. And now we might as well pop the fairing back on this side. That's too cool how it fits right in there. Isn't that nice, man? You can tell these guys had access to a motorcycle when they were designing that, probably. Yes. So yes, another amazing part supplied by our good buddy Miami Manny at Moto Million. Link to this part is in the description. All right, so now we're over on the other side. Quick test fit. Yeah, I'd say we probably did that, right? That looks like it fits right in there. Yep. So that's a good thing. Looks like it's gonna be the same program. Pop a couple of clips here. These are nice, easy clips to work with, though. Oh yeah, that looks sweet. It does. I guess we better jump on the Aprilia, take it for a test drive, Let's huh? do it, put your gear on. All right, let's gear it up. All right. You heard the man, somebody's gonna have the awesome decision to make, choosing between our 2019 Kawasaki Ninja H2 or the 2019 Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory. That is gonna be a good call. And I'm so curious to see which, which bike they're gonna choose. Last season, as you remember, we had the Aprilia with the 2020 BMW S1000 RR, and our good buddy, the Miami cop, Walter Byers selected the S1000 RR over the Aprilia, which is why this Aprilia is still here in season six of the new bike build series. And whichever bike the person that wins season six of the build series doesn't pick will come over to season seven of the new bike build series, which will feature the 2020 or 2021 BMW S1000 RR in the beautiful Hockenheim silver color which is gonna look absolutely vicious with all the carbon fiber and everything else that Miami Manny from Moto Million is gonna adorn onto that motorcycle. Information on how you might be able to select one of these motorcycles for your own is in the description. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, tap that bell and you'll get notified when new content is uploaded. Zach has returned fully geared up and ready to go on a test ride, Zach. I'm going to get you an Alpine Stars jacket for you to wear for your test rides. Oh man, that'd be amazing. Yep. So what color do you want? I'm probably going to have to stick with black. I'm usually around a lot of grease and oil. So okay. That'd be awesome. Let's see how the Aprilia wants to wake up. It's been sitting for a while. Yes. Looks good. Sounds good. LED headlights. One of the, thing, one of the mods that we put on the bike last season. Definitely helped. Make the bike look great and also illuminate the road at night. So stay tuned. Zach's gonna go on his ride. He'll be back. And uh, yeah. Oh man, that thing sounds great. There he goes. I feel like giving chase on the Ninja H2, but I've got this camera in my hand. So stay tuned, folks. And thanks for viewing the new Bike Build Series. We'll catch you guys next time.